and welcome back to my channel. So I thought that today I would do a Slimming World update for the past week. Sorry it's a bit late, I think I meant to do my other video, I couldn't film the other night because I cut my nose, it wouldn't stop bleeding for four hours and I just couldn't, yeah, couldn't sit with a great big tissue on the end of it, so yeah. That's why it's late. Got weighed on Tuesday. That was my fourth week. Done pretty well in the previous week, so I'm fully expecting that it's gonna slow down. So I didn't have the best week, um, and subsequently I only lost half a pound, which I'm really, really annoyed about, but I'm only annoyed with myself. I'm not annoyed at the plan. The plan works, um, but yeah, a few things got in the way, and that's the reason. So it's still, still soul destroying because I think I worked out that I had been good for half of the week and the other half was only like half a pound. <laughs> Even when you've been a bit naughty in the week, you still na you, like you're still disappointed if it's such a small amount. But anyway, I should just be thankful that I didn't put on and that's fine. So basically, um, last week I just found challenging. It was a bank holiday weekend. Our son is off to school very soon and I didn't want to be the mum that just sits there not joining in and I know you can join in with Slim and Well Friendly Food but we were out and about quite a lot. We went to Moores Valley, we thought we'd treat the kids and eat in the cafe there and yes I, like, I had a jacket potato but there was butter, it was dressings and things like that. So it was just that sort of thing. We were just we were busy for all three days. One of the days was Mould Valley. Another day we had dinner at my parents' house, which was slim and well friendly, but my mum and dad are feeders, a bit like I am when people come to my house, and therefore I had pudding. Um, I didn't have any alcohol. That's one thing that I do find easy to cut down on, especially with kids. I can't, yeah, I don't miss the hangovers and just the feeling groggy the next day. So it's always food that does it. We had like a film night, so I couldn't resist having a few snacks then. We just, like, it's a bit of a tradition. At least once a month, we try and do a film night at one one night of the weekend. So this time we just had some onion rings, um, some chewy sweets, some chocolate buttons, and some popcorn. And I can't sit there and not join in, so I did that. I totally fully expected that it was gonna have a bit of a hit on Tuesday's weigh-in. I also had a Chinese takeaway. So actually, when I talk like that, that's horrendous, and half a pound off is actually amazing. When I, when I really, really think it through, like, you know, three full on bad days, half a pound, yeah, I mean, I didn't put on it, so that's what was important, but yeah, that's basically why. I sat in the meeting last week and pre-warned the group and my consultant that that was probably going to happen, so she tried to talk me into thinking about the, like thinking about the bank holiday differently and not associating it with food and drink, but I do, you know, we only have a few bank holidays every year and I do, I just associate them with food and drink. I just want to go out and have a good time. So yeah, anyway, I've drawn a line under it, as they say. And this week, um, so what are we on? I'm filming this on Friday now because I couldn't do it the other night. Uh, and yeah, I'm back on it, it's absolutely fine. We've got a very clear weekend. We will go out and about somewhere on one of the days, possibly both, but I'm fine, I, I feel really good. We went out yesterday and we went to a cafe and everyone else was tucking into nice big paninis and sandwiches and crisps and things like that. And I had a jacket potato with cheese, beans and salad. So I, I feel like if I can go out like that and choose well, then I'm obviously back in the right frame of mind. So that's what happened. Yeah, a pretty clear week this week. Fingers crossed it will go well. So some things that I've been cooking this week have been fairly similar. We have been, again, having lots and lots of salad. I made a kedgeree this week. I will pop that on a meals video, actually, in the next few days. I need to just film a couple of little bits to it and I can pop that on maybe the beginning of next week. But yeah, I made a kedgeree and that was fresh smoked haddock fillet, which I just got from the counter in Tesco. Peas, some egg, some curry powder, some semi-skim milk and some rice and it was a really yummy yummy dinner just salt and pepper just to flavor it and we all enjoyed that and it was a really really nice tasty filling hearty meal and actually that was pretty much totally free because the fish was fresh fish the peas are free the rice is free the milk comes out of your allowance and the eggs are free so actually that was a real nice big filling meal and actually there was a lot there and obviously i polished it all off because i'm absolutely starving and my husband couldn't 
He couldn't finish it all. He said it was just too much. He struggles with like one bowl meals where there's not a variation of tastes on each spoon. So yeah, he struggled, but I polished it off. Um, so yeah, that was one of the days that we had. I have had jacket potato another day this week because I find it just easy to have really when the other three are having something that is not Slimming World friendly, then that's what we do. We have had two of the curries actually from the Slimming World range at Iceland this week, the chicken sarg and the vegetable biryani. So we just had half each. It was actually really, really yummy. My husband said he enjoyed it as much as a takeaway, which is absolutely amazing because he's not necessarily even following it. but. That was really, really nice to hear. I made a shepherd's pie with the 5% mince and the potato on the top. You can make it with a carrot and sweet mash. If, you, if you're doing a real like speed day, then you don't even have to have the potato mash top. But I did do that. Um, and then just a tiny sprinkle of cheese on the top and some veggies hidden in, carrot, celery, and so if that were tons of broccoli, runner beans, that kind of thing. And that was also really yummy. So yeah, we've just been doing, I still do quite hearty meals because at the end of the day, we are a family of four and three of them aren't on Slimming World. So I don't want to constantly be doing salads and stir fries, which obviously on any slimming plan will work really well. I still want hearty meals. We still base our week around having things like cottage pies, sausage and mash, a roast dinner. Like we're not really, really set in our ways, but that's what the kids enjoy. They want a hearty meal and so do we. Like my husband works long days, he wants a decent meal. He doesn't want to just be served up rabbit food as he would call it. So that is what we do. We tend to eat with the kids maybe five nights a week and then the other two nights will be when we have something like a curry, um, so they're not something they're not so keen on. So yeah, it's working really well. Obviously, it's a little bit tricky because the kids are home and there's lots of snacks going on. There's lots of like snacks in the naughty cupboard and that's always a little bit tricky, but I'm finding it all right, actually. I've been having lots of the Muller lights this week because they feel like a real pudding. I've gone for the chocolate sprinkle type ones, which are still only half a sim. And then I have that after my dinner, like when I'm starting to get a bit peckish. I used to go for a Freddo bar, but actually I find that once I've had one of those, I just want more. Whereas the yogurt is still taking the sweet edge off and it's more than enough. So that is what I've been doing. I thought that I would do my usual bits to show just kind of what I've been enjoying and a couple of little tips. So the first thing that we've been enjoying is this lighter coconut milk. So this is obviously a whole tin, but we have half a tin if we're making a curry or anything like sauce base that we want to use this is three and a half cents for a quarter of a tin which is about what i probably have in my portion which i don't think is that bad i'm assuming it's about half of a normal coconut milk but i haven't looked up the normal one but it just feels really yummy and tasty and a bit naughty when you have a coconut milk based curry so that's what we've been having three and a half cents like it's not the end of the world out of 15 cents so we have been using that with some chicken and my husband just, he's really good at just like kind of rustling up all the herbs and spices that you need for a curry sauce. And then with this as the base, they're coming out really nice with some chicken and some rice or some noodles. So yeah, that's what we've been using. I have put the little bunny bites on, which are essentially just the same as pom bears, aren't they really? But these are, I think they're only four sims a bag. There's loads in there because they're so light. They are something like 80, 90p for six packs in Sainsbury's and I mainly get them for the kids, but I have been having these when I want a packet of crisps because they are still the lowest crisps, these kind of potato snack ones. Um, quavers are also quite good. I think they're about five, uh, but yeah, these have been in the cupboard and like I say, you get a load in there and actually they, you know, they can take a while to eat and you feel like you're having a bit of a naughty snack. So I just thought I'd try put those in, even though they're really for the kids. Uh, these I'm absolutely, I'm just living on these at the moment. Flavoured spring water is like sparkling, so you can get loads of different flav flavours. There's lemon and lime, which basically just tastes like Sprite. There's the apple and raspberry, I think they do strawberry, and they do like a peach. And this with a nice load of ice cubes in, just instead of Diet Coke really. I get a bit fed up with Diet Coke sometimes, but these are really, really flavoursome and they're really good as well. If you're just thirsty and a little bit peckish then the fizziness kind of keeps you going until tea. I have a glass of this when I come in like when I'm getting dinner ready because that's an awful awful time to pick. If I just have a glass of this then it's quenching my thirst and filling me up a little bit before tea so I'm having at least a glass or two of these every day. I think there's something like 40 45p a bottle so they're really really cheap. Um, so yeah 
been enjoying those. These are things that aren't like new to Slimming World. They're not even particularly Slimming World endorsed or anything like that. It's just things that I find help me in the week. Candorel or any sweetener is just a lifesaver for me because I never used to have coffee because I wanted sugar in it. I need coffee. I've got two kids now and this is perfect. We can also use it in recipes. I think you have to sin it if you use over a tablespoon, like one recipe, but it can go in all sorts instead of sugar. Some people just don't like sweetener. I really, really don't mind it. I don't really see the difference. I can't taste the difference particularly. It just takes the sweet edge off, you know, like for me, it works really well and we're getting through this really, really quickly. I probably have like three or four coffees a day. So that's mainly where we use it. But if I have cereal, like some Weetabix or some cornflakes, anything like that, I have to have sugar on them and now I have sweetener on them. So this is actually making life a lot easier. And finally, a bit random, a pot of pasta. Um, what I'm basically doing is rustling up a sauce, popping it on some pasta. The kids have that for tea um, on a day when we're having something like a curry or something that we think that they struggle with a little bit. I'm basically making up enough pasta to keep some leftover in the fridge and then that's there for me to pick. So like I say, there's certain times when I find it tough and that's mainly the afternoons, mainly when I'm getting dinner ready and I'm hungry. So I'm keeping this in there, you can sometimes make some tuna, some sweet corn, and you can literally just have a small little dish with some pasta in, just, it's totally free if you whip up the sauce yourself. You can just have a few spoons of pasta and that really, really fills you up. Totally free, you can even do it in the evening if you get really peckish after tea. It's still better than a packet of crisps. Even if you have a low-fat packet of crisps, they're still sinned, this is totally free. The other thing that we've been doing is making the Slimming World potatoes or chips. So we're, we're doing like the cubed potatoes with some fry, like some garlic, salt, pepper, and some paprika. And then you can pick those cold in the fridge as well. Like it, something just nice and filling to make and be able to pick out just to keep you going. So rather than, I mean, it's easy. People say, oh, just pick it fruit. But actually you don't always want to pick it fruit. You sometimes want to pick it something that's really hearty and feels a bit naughty. So that's the other thing. Basically just have things made up in the fridge where you're open the door. Oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I want something. Oh, it's there. You don't have to think any further. You don't have to look around and start looking at the crisp and chocolate cupboard. So that's my other tip to leave things in there already made up. So anyway, that's everything for today. I'll pop an update on here next week um, just to let you know how I've done next week as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope it was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, that would be absolutely amazing. I will be over the moon. I'm also over on Instagram, mama underscore hedgehog too. Thank you very much. Bye.